Hey guys, it's your girl Carrie, and today's video is so impromptu. I was headed into the Dollar Tree to pick up a couple of items that I needed, and when I walked inside, they were putting out the Halloween decor and Halloween costumes, and I was so inspired. Now, I started my love for shopping at the Dollar Tree when I started doing my children's parties years ago, about 10, 15 years ago and that has been my creative space ever since so anytime i'm getting ready to do an event or anything like that i go into the dollar tree for inspiration so what i'm going to do in today's video is let you guys party with me at the dollar tree go into the dollar tree show you what inspired me and then show with you share with you my process on how i go around and shop the dollar tree to pick items that will fit that theme i want you guys to let me know in the comments below if you like this type of party i'm assuming you will because a couple of years back i did a dollar tree diy party and shared with you my daughter's sweet 15 uh, birthday party and that video got all oh, about a hundred thousand views so let's get started so first I'm going to grab a card and this particular Dollar Tree kind of works like all these you put a quarter in so you can take the cart and on to Halloween decor and guys this is what caught my eye how cute are these little Halloween costumes for little girls. They have the bumblebee, you get a headband, and you get some wings, and you get a little skirt. And the same thing for the ladybug, you get the wings, you get the headband, and you get the little ladybug skirt. They also have the unicorn headband, and the skirt. And then you also get a tail, a unicorn tail that ties on to the skirt, I believe. So my first tip is to shop seasonal items for your parties. Now, these items here, the lit behind me, the ladybug and the bumblebee, you can do that as a one-year-old first-year party or a toddler's birthday party. They can be two, three years old, but you won't find these items all year round at the Dollar Tree. So if your child's birthday is in December, you'll be hard pressed to find these kinds of costumes to add to their party. So always think about the season that you're in and look at those items to see if there's anything that you can pick up during that season that you know won't be in the Dollar Tree year round and plan ahead. So I'm going to attempt to design a birthday party for a one-year-old girl and I am going to choose two options just in case I can't find enough items inside this particular Dollar Tree. So I'm going to do the bumblebee and the ladybug. And also I had another quick tip while we're over here by the costumes. You can make this party as inexpensive or expensive as you like. For example, you could just buy one costume and put that on the birthday child and you would only have to spend $3. And that's great if you're on a tight budget. But if you had more money to spend and you wanted to get costumes for all of the children participating, it would be about $3 each per child to get a wings, headband, and a skirt. Now, you don't have to get every child the entire costume. It would be perfectly fine if you got the other children the um, headbands only or the wings only or the wings and the headband but not the skirt. You can mix it up and do it whatever way that you like. So my next stop is to come down the aisle that has all of the paper goods for your party and that leads me to my second tip. So my second tip is to choose a color palette that is basic and simple. That way you can ensure that you find the items that you actually need at the Dollar Tree. And when you just have a simple basic color palette, you can easily customize it to make it your own. So as I'm looking, I see the section that has all of the black paper goods. I see a section with all of the red paper goods. And then you have the section with all of the yellow, which would be perfect for our themes. We would use yellow and black for the bumblebee, or we can use red and black for the ladybug. I'm going to continue to look and stumble upon 
and I stumble upon all of the storage containers, organizers, and I think to myself, hmm, could I use any of these items for my ladybug theme? And I'm looking down here to see, okay, can we play some sort of a game to use these red baskets? Maybe if it's a one, two, or three year old, they can throw some items into this bucket and we'll just come up with a ladybug type theme for the game. These little caddies right here could even just be food caddies. You could stack your cups and uh, things in here and plates if you don't set them up on the table and set those out. Now here's the wrapping paper and that will lead me to tip number three. Now tip number three, you want to get the most bang for your buck. And so what that means is you want to make sure that you pick items from the Dollar Tree that will stretch or go a long way when it comes to decor. And nothing stretches your decor budget like wrapping paper. And as you can see right behind me, we are now in the balloon section and you can get a lot of bang for your buck with balloons. So I'm sure many of you have seen all of the fancy nice balloon garlands that are ever so popular now. And as you can see, they have all the colors that we would need for our theme. They have the yellow ones here, they have the red ones up here, and they have the black ones here. And so in order to do a balloon garland, depending on how big and how intricate you want it, you're probably going to need at least 75 to 100 balloons. They also have some really cute um, pom-poms, the hanging decorations, and these strung about could mimic ladybugs. So I'm going to pick up a couple of these. These crepe streamers also are great in terms of filling up a space, getting more bang for your buck. They have some yellow ones and they have black. That would be perfect for our ladybug theme. I'm going to check the ribbon to see if any ribbon might match our theme. They have some black sequins here. That could possibly work for something. And they also have some polka dot um, burlap ribbon. Ones with red on it, ones with black. If you're doing a rustic ladybug and you don't have to be literal. And we're going past the floral section. Now, normally I do not purchase florals from the Dollar Tree, but these carnations right here for our ladybug theme could possibly work for something. Now, this has nothing to do with our um, party theme, but as I'm going down each row, I'm spotting some things. And how cute are these mercury glass candle holders? They have the blinged out reindeer on one. They have a red one with a blinged out Christmas tree and then a green one with a snowflake. Now I'm still in this aisle with the candles and I saw these little lanterns. Now ladybugs are found outside so if you're doing an outside theme for your ladybugs these might work. These could be cute like little bug catchers or something like that. So now I'm going to be walking down the candy aisle and snacks aisle to see if I can get any inspiration. Those cherries are red, red and green. I'm going to skip the cherries. What's, what's that? Oh, we want berries. So we have some red and black berries. So I don't know if kids choke on this and see how hard it is. Now they do have some red candies but again if you're uh, having small kids in this case we're doing a one-year-old even if you had a two or three year old I wouldn't recommend any hard candies and look at what I found they have the little honey bears so I think these would go really well with our bee themed we can pull these labels off and make our own custom labels we can dump out the honey and fill them with condiments or you can fill them with candy and make them favors. The possibilities are endless. So I'm going to add these to our cart. And what about fruit roll-ups? Kids love fruit roll-ups. I'm sure I can come up with a creative way to incorporate these fruit roll-ups in our ladybug theme. We'll throw that in our cart. And here we are in the utensil aisle and everything here pretty much matches our theme. So we can pick and choose from all of the red and black. I'm just going to keep on looking to see what I can find. Boom. 
look at this colander. This is the perfect shape for a ladybug. So if I just pull the handle off of this, if I took the handle off, this would make for great decorations. I could stick some pipe cleaner in it, put some eyes on it, and this could actually act as decor. I wanted to throw this in my bucket. And next to it, we have some red bowls. These also could look like ladybugs so you have like the mommy ladybug the baby ladybug i don't know but these definitely can be turned into ladybugs another aisle that i absolutely love in the dollar tree is the sock and clothing section especially the t-shirts and if you look right here they have little small use size t-shirts and this could go great with our ladybug theme and there's so many ways you can cut up and decorate a t-shirt and I think if you cut off the sleeves you can make like a little shirt to go with that outfit because again it only came with the wings and the skirt so you could make this a really cute t-shirt and that could be one of the activities they have a small use of black one as well and your activity could be decorating or making a ladybug shirt also as as a side note, if you have a Girl Scout troop, I would always pick up the green t-shirts from the Dollar Tree and use those for when we had our Girl Scout meetings and things like that. Now in the craft aisle, I see the Chanel stems, also the googly eyes. Those would be great. But when I look over at the pom-poms, I see red and black pom-poms in here and that could work for our ladybug or our bumblebee theme because they also have the yellow pom-poms in there as well. So I've walked down every single aisle in this Dollar Tree and now I'm going to try to find a space where I can show you what I pulled together. So I found an empty end cap. I want to use this to share with you what I have in my cart. So here are all the items that are my jumping off point for my ladybug themed party. And we picked up the headband, the skirt with the tool, and the wings. The next thing I picked up were the paper goods and I picked up a package of black fork spoons and knives, a package of red fork spoons and knives, and a package of the red plates. They come 20 in a pack and a pack of black plates so I could mix and match. And you only need two packages because when you have a small child, you want to limit the number of guests. It should just be close friends and family. You don't really need a ton of people at a one-year-old birthday party. And I also picked up some napkins. I mixed and matched those. And you can customize these by maybe buying a bumblebee. And you can customize these by maybe buying a ladybug stamp and stamping the corner of each of the napkins. And I picked up the cups. And these cups can be customizable by drawing or printing out little black dots or you can take those little black pom-poms that we saw in the craft aisle and stick it on the cup but the idea is to make the cup look like a ladybug. Now the next item that I picked up that will give you a lot of bang for your buck are the balloons. So I picked up three packs of the red balloons, three packs of the black balloons, and you can make an awesome balloon garland and you can use that to drape over your dessert table or you can use that to drape over your backdrop for the little kids to take pictures in their little ladybug outfits. So I think that would definitely add a huge impact for very little cost. The next item I picked up was the streamer paper. And again, you can do a lot with the streamer paper and you could just make lush, nice backdrops. You can cut them in strips and have them hanging and then take your balloon garland and swag that over top of that. I also pulled, picked out some of these cute little hanging decorations. They come, they're kind of like tissue pom-poms on a string. You have black and you have red and you can just put that throughout your event. And then they have the large two hanging pom-poms. And what you can do is put those little Chanel stems, fine black ones, and you can just make little hanging ladybugs from the ceiling. 
Then I picked up these cute little um, Haribo berries. They had the black and the red. And these could make cute little cupcake toppers or things like that. Then we have an assortment of red bowls and dishware. I think this one right here is my favorite. I would probably remove the handle and this would somehow become my ladybug. And finally I picked up some fruit roll-ups and I'm thinking we could use these to cut okay. out some shapes or something like that so and make a away, fun okay? little treat. And finally I have some wrapping paper and there's so many things that you can do with wrapping paper. I've done videos on how I use wrapping paper in many of my events so um, I I think wrapping paper gives you the most bang for your buck. You can use these for the backdrop if you didn't want to do the streamers. These could also serve as table covers and these will actually look nicer than those cheapy plastic tablecloth covers that you get out of the paper goods aisle. Now here is our bumblebee themed party. They didn't have that many uh, items here to get that creative with the bumblebee theme but this was a good jumping off point i'm not going to go through all these items because these are the same items that we went through for the ladybug party i'm just going to share with you a couple of other ideas that i did find that i didn't mention in the ladybug so like we said before the bumblebee goes with bears and honey so we could pick up a few of these empty out the honey take off the label and use these as condiments or we could also use them as favors and fill them with some treats and then just put a customized label on there with the child's name and a picture or something like that and then here i found these two little favor boxes you can also you know use these as the favors and if you wanted it to be black yellow with black dots to resemble a bumblebee or something like that you could go and find your own paper but use this as the template to make your own customized favor boxes and then i found this cute little black sequin and I know I could probably trim something out that will go with our theme. Guys, I was almost on my way out and I saw this end cap that I missed when I was looking around. But look at this. This is a gorgeous boa with the gold flex in there. And it would go perfectly with that bumblebee theme. So I'm going to take this and run back over to my bumblebee. And look how awesome. This would actually set my party off. I would buy a ton of these to go with my bumblebee theme. You can even put it around the bottom of the skirt and jazz that skirt up a little bit more, make it awesome. I mean, I would just go ham on the boas with the gold string on it. Uh, the possibilities are endless, guys. But they're kicking me out of the Dollar Tree. This Dollar Tree is about to close, so I cannot give you any more ideas. Now I'm off to put all of these items back in its proper place. It would be very rude for me to leave this mess here for one of the workers to put back. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you like this type of content and if you'd like to party with me again in the Dollar Tree and we would just kind of go through some other types of themes. And until next time, I'm going to keep calm and carry on. Bye guys. Thank you so much.